Hey guys, welcome to MNMMPT Nati. Today's video is about write from dictation, a topic in your writing section, the last topic of your exam, one of the most, most important topic for your PTE exam. The reason I want to make this video is to emphasize again and again on write from dictation as to how important is it and why is it important to master this topic how can you master this topic how should you practice so that you can get a very good listening and writing score but before we dive deep in if you are looking for pt coaching or for nati hindi gujarati and punjabi coaching you can always get in touch with us using instagram or facebook messenger the links to contact us in, is in the description below or you can simply search for m and mm pt nati on instagram or facebook you will find us and you can ask us questions about PT coaching and Nati Hindi, Gujarati or Punjabi coaching. With that, let's start right from dictation for today. Now, right from dictation, we all are aware that it's an important topic, the last topic of your ex uh, exam. The reason it is kept at the end, there has to be a reason that why is the most important topic kept at the end. By the time you reach that topic, you are exhausted, you're tired. Um, and you have lost almost all of your energy. So that's why it's very important for you to practice this topic a lot so that you don't make any mistakes in exam because it's at the end. Now, we know that we will get three to four questions in exam and the scores will be contributed to listening and writing. Listening will get approximately 30 marks and writing with, will get approximately 35 to 40 marks out of 90. So this itself is enough for me to understand how important is this topic? How important is it for me to practice right from dictation? I always recommend my students to practice right from dictation at least four days a week, if not five, because you have to practice it more than three to four days a week. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get your hands on with this topic. And when you sit and practice right from dictation, make sure you practice at least 25 questions in one go. Don't just practice four or five questions and then get up and do something else. That is not enough practice. Minimum number of questions you should be practicing every day is 25. If you're practicing more than that, that is great. Now, what happens in write from dictation? There is an audio, there is a sentence that will be played for you. Your job is to take notes and then type the same sentence in the computer so that you get your score. Now, I always share three step strategy with my students and that will help you to nail this topic, to master this topic. Problem is a lot of students, they don't follow this three step strategy and that's why they face a lot of problem with write from dictation. Let us see what that three step strategy is and that will give you an idea as to how should you practice write from dictation, what should be the flow so that you can always be a master of this topic. Now what I will do is I will play a sentence, I will take notes first. That is my step one, note taking. Please write it down if possible, step one note taking out of three steps. So first is notes. Now, how do I take notes? A lot of students are confident taking notes using initials. A lot of students are confident using, I mean, doing the note taking using abbreviations as in short form for every word that you have in your dictation. And the third option is you can use a combination of initials and abbreviations, meaning some words you just write down the initials, some words you write down the abbreviation. No method is wrong. The goal is to get a right answer. If you are able to get a, your right answer using any one of these three methods of note taking, that method is right method for you. For me personally, initials works the best. I like taking notes using initials. I've been doing that for many years now and I just love my note taking for right from dictation using initials. That would be my first step, taking notes using initials. So I have first only written the initials when I listen to my sentence. The second step is I first always will write down the complete answer in my notebook. So whenever I will practice as a student, I'm talking about. So if I practice and I have an exam, let's say, so I will take my notes in the notebook. That is my step one. Step two is I will write down the complete answer, the full answer in the notebook. And then step three is you look into your notebook because you have your answer ready and then you type in your computer. 
you have to follow these three steps. And obviously, when you are done with your typing, you will always proofread, as in you will check your spellings, words, punctuations, full stop meaning, and capital letter if required. All that checking needs to be done. Once you feel that you've done a good job, everything looks perfect, that's when you click next and move on to the next question. So this flow will help you to get your good score for write from dictation. Now, what I will do is, I will play a sentence and I will follow the three step strategy. So first I will write down the notes, which, which is using initials. Then I will write down the complete answer on the screen, which is my step two. And then I'm not typing it for you right now, but then you have to make sure that in exam, obviously you are typing it as well, because if you just have a sentence in your notebook, it is not enough. You have to type it in the computer. So let me at least do the step one and two and show it to you. Let's do it. A new article was published regarding the university last week. So that's my step one. A new article. So if you pay attention to the to the note taking part, yes, I have used my initial. This is something I would like to highlight. Published. Whenever I listen to a past tense sentence, which has ed at the end, I always put a small d. That is an indication to me that this is a past tense sentence. Similarly, if there was a plural word, meaning with an s, with a s at the end, then I always put small s in my initial note taking. This helps you to get a good note. Now, I have first written all my initials that was done my step one. And step two was I wrote my complete answer in the screen in the notebook when I'm practicing as a student, I'm talking about when your note taking is done. Now it is so easy for you. You just have to look into your notebook and type it in your computer. What happens is a lot of times I've seen students will follow the step one, they will take notes using initials or abbreviations and then straight away they jump to step three, which is start typing. While typing, they forget what this P was because you cannot remember every single word for such a long time. That is the reason I will encourage you to follow all three steps. Step one, note taking. Step two, write down the complete answer in your notebook. And step three is type the same answer in your computer and then check your work and move on. A lot of students will now have a question. Do I have enough time for this? Yes, 100% you have enough time for this. I have used this method on uncountable students and they have got their scores. I have used it myself for many, many years and I've got my score for that. So I can guarantee you that if you follow this method for your write from dictation, you will nail this topic and you'll get a perfect listening and a writing score. Do make sure you use this method and put Put your experience in the comment section as to how did you go when you used this method for write from dictation. And also I want to share that when you start using this method, day one, day two, you will not be a scholar of this method. Don't expect some magic to happen on your day one of practice or day two. It will take time, but eventually you will realize that you've taken the right decision and you are actually able to write down a complete and a perfect answer. With that, I'll take your leave. All the best. Oh, 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 oh,